Every diaper is unique in its own way, at least in terms of the designs. Some stand out due to other special features that are not available everywhere, such as a creative wetness indicator. In the case of the Fabicare, it's something that some of you will probably like less. They've dropped the M size. Medium, large and extra large are the standard sizes. As I have already shown in previous episodes of Diaper News, some manufacturers save themselves XL. Then there is S, which is not offered by many. The reason is simple. Both the smallest and largest sizes are niche. Most people fit M or L. From the point of view of a profit-oriented company, S and XL are sometimes not worthwhile, as you have to convert the machine and finance storage capacity. But what's new with diapers is that someone is cutting out medium. I have not yet seen a manufacturer that does not offer M for many, it is the smallest size, as S is quite rare. Fabamonti has done it, they only offer their own brand in L and XL. However, large is cut quite generously with a waist circumference of 91 to 127 centimeters. For comparison, the rear's Critter Caboose M ranges from 76 to 102 centimeters, the L from 87 to 107 centimeters. The Fabicare L is therefore a kind of M+. It will fit some people who tend to have M in other diapers, as long as they are not at the lower end of the scale. Fabamonti started many years ago on eBay with a store selling PVC pants. The company's own webshop was added later. It is very easy to use and I have probably never noticed it before because of this focus on PVC. There are a lot of pants like these there, but only one disposable diaper, the Fabicare. It was developed by the company itself and only seems to be sold in its own store. Either in the webshop or from the same operator on eBay. I have not been able to find this diaper anywhere else. In their own webshop, size L is offered for €29.90 per pack of 10, and XL is even €10 Euros more. The €39.90 Euros. seems to be the normal price and the €29.90 Euros and 90 cents a reduced price. 2.99 per piece would be in the upper mid-range compared to other ABDL diapers. At €3.99 Euros we are clearly in the upper price range, where the way to the expensive diapers from Abu is not far away. On eBay, on the other hand, both sizes are available for €29.90 per pack with free shipping. In their own webshop, on the other hand, shipping is only free for orders over €49 and their own brand of diapers is even explicitly excluded. That surprises me, the prices should normally be best in their own store because you don't have to pay the high fees and commissions of external platforms. Also confusing, the description advertises a theoretical suction capacity of 6 liters. According to the photo on the packaging, it should be 6.5 liters. Unfortunately, it is not stated how this was measured. So probably not an ISO standard. What I do find exemplary is the information that this is a laboratory value under optimum conditions, which has never been achieved in practice. I have never seen this with any other diaper. Although it is exactly the same there, all these values are measured theoretically and are never achieved in practice. Regardless of whether it is 6 liters or even 11 liters for rears due to new measuring methods. Apart from that, the diaper is supposed to be coated with foil on the outside and to have four adhesives, it is described as extra thick. Unfortunately, there is no photo of a single diaper without a pack in either store. However, one shows the repeating pattern with different animals such as rabbits or mice. You can tell from these little things that this is the first disposable diaper I've bought. And the store generally has little experience in this area, after all, no other disposable diapers are sold. There are a few reusable ones, but the focus is clearly on PVC. There is virtually nothing on the web about this new diaper. That's really amazing and I've never seen it in this form before. Of course, newcomers find it a bit difficult at first, we've already seen this in other episodes of Diaper News, where the marketing was suboptimal. But the fact that there was nothing at all, no advance notice and announcement, no promo, nothing, that's actually the first time I've seen that. I couldn't even find out roughly when it was launched because there is no blog or social media presence. The only thing I can tell from the list of changes to the range is that the first adjustment was made on August 4, 2023 so the diaper must have been on the market for at least five months in January 2024. However, this store has been growing for many years without me or others I know from the ABDL scene noticing it. It is possible that its regular customers are so large that this is sufficient for the sales of the diapers.
Despite my criticisms, I find the diaper itself interesting. However, I am still skeptical about the size. I may be wrong and the cut may be suitable for a smaller circumference than stated. I'm skeptical about the official information as to whether it will fit. At least some of you might feel the same way. What do you think of the diaper? Should I try to buy it in L and see if it still fits me? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new diaper videos. Stay dry, until the next diaper video.